Long time no see hoes and bitch, guess what we doing today? We doing a motherfucking Arabic perfume collection. This is an updated Arabic perfume collection. I know y'all are waiting for the full blown perfume collection. I'm gonna do that. Just wait, just chill. But I do want to do a separate video for my Arabic perfumes because it's so many of them. They're all over here, and y'all excuse the quality and the lighting. My ring light keep going out. It's damn near broke. I know y'all probably like, where you been, child? We're gonna get into that later. But y'all. We're going to do this motherfucking airbrake perfume collection. Let's get straight into it. I'm going to flip the camera and show y'all everything that I got going on. Ho. All right, y'all. So let's get started. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so we're going to start in the back. Okay, per. So first we have Affection. Oh, bitch almost. Girl. So the first perfume we're going to go with is Affection. Y'all, this right here is a Kayali Young Pistachio Dupe. She's a marshmallow, cotton candy, vanilla ice cream perfume. And by the way, y'all, I got all of my Arabic perfumes from the TikTok shop. But anyways, this perfume smells exactly like the Kayali Yum Pistachio, but a little bit sweeter. This is light, just like the Kayali Yum. She's really, really good, though. I really like this. It smells so yummy. And then right next to Affection, we have car i don't know how to really pronounce her like that but these are the same thing they literally smell the same this is also a k ali yum pistachio dupe the difference between this and affection is this is stronger so like if you was looking for a stronger version of the k ali yum i highly recommend this one it smells really good this one is stronger and it will make your nose burn so watch how you spray it all right so the next perfume we got is ben huron this right here smells exactly like the Carolina Herrera Good Girl Perfume. I'm telling y'all, this is like a dupe for it. It's like a grown, sexy, vanilla, white floral. It's just a very sexy fragrance. Like, it's giving rich hoe, a hoe with a lot of money, a hoe that just has her life together. This perfume is so pretty. Like, she smells so good. This is definitely for, like, my mature bitches, though, not for the little girls. And let me tell y'all something. The dupe be better than the original, ho. I'm telling you that now. The dupe be better than the original. Keep that in mind, baby. Keep that in mind, all right? And, I, and that's coming from that own designer perfume, okay? Now, the next perfume we got is Nadir Nabil. This right here is a unisex fragrance, and you could definitely tell it's unisex. My friend said that it smelled like nigga cologne. But let me tell you about her. This right here, if you mix this with any sweet perfume, it will smell really good. I mix this with Haya and baby, it smells so good. She was wondering what I had on and I gave her this because this is all I had in my bag. But you see how I layer it and when I layer it, it, it makes the fragrance smell even better. This is a very strong scent. It's very strong. It's fruity, but it's very strong. Like, it's very, very strong. It got a lot of fruit notes in it. It's very strong though. I really like this. It's very strong. It can be a little bit masculine. But it's very, very strong. Excuse the light in my ring like keep going out. But the next perfume we got is this Anna Mother Abia. I don't know how to pronounce her. This is Anna Abiada Rouge. She is a Baccarat Rouge dupe. The difference between her and Baccarat Rouge is this is lighter. This is not so strong. Um, she does smell very similar to Baccarat Rouge. And to me, Baccarat Rouge smells like amber and cotton candy. Like a very grown, sexy amber and cotton candy okay period now this is one of my favorites this is Ansem gold chow i'm not gonna lie y'all this smells exactly like oriana this is the oriana dupe it's giving marshmallows mandarin orange raspberries but it's really heavy on that mandarin orange and marshmallow i feel like this smells like lucky charms it's so good and if you pair with yara you will get a, I'm telling you, this smells so good. It's very strong. You don't need to overspray it because if you do, you will catch a headache and you don't want no headache. I'm, I'm telling you, this will give you a headache. So watch how you spray this. She's really good though. Like I highly recommend this one. Like if you're a sweet gourmand lover, this is that bitch for real. Like you really don't need Oriana if you have this perfume. I'm telling you now you don't need Oriana. Like you don't need to waste the $300. I promise. Now, the next one we have is Nibra's Yaw. Now, this is supposed to be a Billie Eilish dupe. Keep in mind, I don't like Billie Eilish. I don't like the Billie Eilish perfume. It smells very funky and ass on my skin. It smells like sour booty on me, and I don't like that. But this one does not smell like that. This smells like a sweet vanilla red berries. A little spicy when I first got it, but it's not spicy no more for real. It's very sweet and vanilla. Just imagine sweet vanilla ice cream with a lot of red berries. She's very much sexy. This will get you a lot of compliments. I remember wearing this in Publix and this lady was like, what do you have on? And it was this, baby. And I know this will get you eight because it smells like vanilla. So definitely it's on the get eight list. 
highly recommend that one now this one i'm about to show y'all this is like one of my favorites for real it got a huge dent in it this is the tawage tawage y'all this smells so amazingly good like y'all just don't understand how good this smells it's like vanilla baby powder and amber i wear this to bed a lot it smells so good y'all literally it smells exactly like vanilla baby powder and amber this is the famous viral perfume harem el susan i do have the oil of this this is the viral perfume everybody was talking about but they had it in the oil and they only had it in the oil now they have it in the spray this is like a very sexy fruity fragrance it's like a goddess just imagine how a goddess would smell just imagine like it's like a pineapple plum sweet sexy grown fruity scent it's really really good like she smells really really good like a goddess for real for real for real a goddess would definitely wear this like just imagine an arabic goddess that's what it smells like very sweet very fruity now the next one we have is kad al first son okay i really don't know how to pronounce her sister girl but she is a very creamy coconutty vanilla scent now this is unisex so it did lean masculine when i first got it it did lean a little bit masculine because it was very 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 strong but she is very good they say when you let arabic fragrances sit they like smell better over time and that is true so i feel like if i let it sit a little bit more it'll turn a little bit more sweeter now it is sweet but it is unisex and you do pick up that unisex smell in this but it is really good i feel like this is good for the summertime because it's giving you creamy coconut it's really good and it's very 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 strong so if you like strong fragrances y'all I recommend this if you like strong fragrances especially unisex you'll love that now y'all for car rose one of my favorites literally one of my favorites she is a white tuberose i think she's a very sweet floral grape tuberose smelling scent she's very sweet rich grown sexy floral smelling like if you spray this on you it will last you all day you will smell it on your bed it's very very strong if you layer it with yara oh my god y'all best combo ever but i'm telling y'all like i sprayed this on myself sat in my bed went to go take a shower and then came back to my bed and my bed still smelled like this so this right here is something dangerous she's a dangerous bitch i'm telling you right now okay period now the next one we have is the taskeen um paris corner this is the peach tea y'all this smells very very strong i can't wear this like that because it's very very strong now it does not stink it smells good it's like a peach rings but it's very very sweet um i think it's also a little tart but this is so strong that it's like i don't really reach for her like that but she's very very peachy like if you like peach scents you'll like this and i don't really like peach scents like that so i also feel like that's why i don't wear it like that but it smells good i just chow it's strong it's very strong now the next one we have i don't really know the name of this one and i hate when i don't know the name but like y'all can always screenshot i don't know the name um genuinely i don't know it but this one right here she smells pretty good she's a very sexy grown floral she's like a red apples floral strawberry type of scent she leans more grown sexy than sweet girly she's more of a grown sexy type of scent then we have choco must y'all already know i went viral for talking about this scent y'all this smells like vanilla extract hot chocolate and marshmallows she's so good she, you will get eight you will get eight you will get eight i cannot stress this enough she's just a little weak that's all but she smells really really good choco must is really that girl i do highly recommend if you're like a vanilla girly you'll love choco must then we have kamar by latafa this one right here smells like sweet vanilla cinnamon rolls very sweet she's also a little bit spicy she is unisex but she's so good and especially when you pair her with like a vanilla fragrance and if you let her sit a little bit she just turns even more sweeter she's really really good um i really like this one she's like a cinnamon roll sweet vanilla really good like her a lot next one we have is bad Al oud sublim sub sublime i don't know but this one right here they say this is supposed to be a k alley red apple no it's supposed to be a k alley eden juicy apple dupe now it does smell similar but to me this smells like k alley eden juicy apple mixed with k spade so to me to my nose this smells like red apples strawberries and moss i really like this it smells really good i wish it lasted a little bit longer but it's really good it's really fruity now the next one we have is 
another bad out ooh this is bad out ooh honor and glory this one right here is giving woody cream brulee it's so good it smells really really good pair this with a vanilla fragrance i'm telling y'all this right here she's really that bitch she she's that bitch okay now we finna get into my yara's y'all Ooh, i'm so excited so the first one we're gonna do is yara twos y'all yara twos is really good and if you let her sit you will smell more mango as time flies by this is a very creamy coconut powdery mango scent this is similar to the pink yara but a tropical version she's really good when you first get her you're not gonna really pick up that mango that much if you let her sit over time you will start picking up more mango it's giving beach is giving vacation like if you're going out on vacation in a hot summer day where it's hot as hell you should wear this perfume it's so good creamy coconutty vanilla mango powdery she's really good i love her now like i said yara got all these sisters and shit like that this is her bougie auntie this is her bougie cousin this right here is the yara i forgot what this one is damn yara moy Y'all, this right here smells like a grown, sexy caramel. Like, she smells like caramel, but a mature version of caramel. She's very much bougie. Like, if you bougie and you like smelling rich, you'll love this. And then my favorite one of them all, Yara, the original Yara that I'm literally running out of. She's a very sweet, powdery, vanilla little bit of strawberry milkshake. Y'all, she smells so good. Literally, the girl smell like a creamy powdery vanilla cupcake with strawberries she's so good i highly recommend this one if i could compare this to anything i would compare it to so de janeiro 62 and burberry her and i'm telling y'all it eats the next perfume i got is the harim el sultan this is a different version this is a floral one this is not the original harim el sultan i think this one is by I forgot which one this is by but this one is very floral she smells like red apples and peony but she's really really good she's a good floral oops oh shit child now the next one i have is Maya. this is an angel nova dupe i'm telling you you don't need angel nova this smells exactly like angel nova this is a lychee raspberry scent she's very strong can be headache inducing but she's very sweet candy like she's really really good but i don't wear her like that because she is headache inducing i have to be in the mood for this she is very sweet and juicy now the next one we have is cotton candy must now this one right here when you first spray it you get that cotton candy but then she turns into like this sweet berry scent and then she has like this clean like note to it like she's giving like cotton candy in a bubble bath she's really really good though like if you like sweet scents you'll really love this like and it's sweet it's not giving musky and musty and stank this one is actually really good okay period now i have the herm warty this one right here smells very similar to ben huron so this one smells very similar to the good girl carolina Herrera, but the difference is this one is more like fruitier i feel like she's really good she's a grown sexy lady that smells really good period now we're gonna get into this row right here which is a very special row now this is haya y'all haya is that bitch she smells like pink starburst just imagine strawberries and champagne and a whole bunch of fruits mixed together y'all this smells like pink starburst i love her and i pair her with my product paradox intense i'm telling you now this one right here this candy rose right here this is candy rose musk this smells like a sweet rose but like a sweet rose laundry detergent scent she's a very comforting scent like if you like laundry detergent smells you'll love this now here we go we got two yara dupes actually we have three hold on so this is nora passion let's just i'm gonna just do a close-up so this is nora passion this smells exactly like yara but more vanilla this is kiss of pink smells exactly like yara a little bit more strawberry i feel like two percent more strawberry um they're very weak they cannot top yara and then we have hyo which smells exactly like yara as well but when you first spray it out you get more of a fruity note but it dries down and it smells exactly like yara see the difference is these is weak this is stronger than these two but out of all of the yara and her little sisters yara is the best i just want y'all to know that but yeah that's hyo kissa pink and more passion then we have Amira L A Rap. Now this is the Prive Rose. This right here smells like a sweet strawberry rose and grape. Now this is very very different. You feel me? I feel like I gotta be in a mood to wear this. But she's very very sweet, and she will get you ate by a man. I'm telling you, she will get you ate by a man. 
you will get eight. I promise you. It's like a grown sweet strawberry rose. You will get eight. I'm just letting you know that now. I'm just warning you. Then I got Bob L. Wardy. Y'all, this perfume right here is a very grown, sexy floral. She's a rose lychee scent. This is very much rich smelling, money smelling, bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? She smells like money. Literally, money. Money in a bottle. And the packaging is so cute. Like, can we really talk about the packaging, y'all? Like, I'm literally in love with the Arabic perfumes and their packaging. The only thing I don't like is the fact that I can't see the liquid. But other than that, child, the packaging is literally a one for real. It's like a little door, like with a key, like to a palace. That's fine. All right. So the last one on this shelf is one of my favorites. Like, she's one of my top favorites. This is the Rave Now. I'm trying to see how much liquid I have in her left because you can see the little liquid. Oh, and the packaging is a little silicone right here. I didn't even know that. But this right here is the Burberry Her Elixir Dupe. She smells exactly like Burberry Her Elixir, y'all. Excuse my voice. Hold on. Anyway, this smells exactly like the Burberry Her Elixir Dupe. Um, this smells exactly like Burberry Her Elixir, but more creamier, more marshmallowy. She's very sweet. She's very feminine, strawberry. Literally smells like Burberry Her Elixir, but just sweeter with more creaminess to it just imagine burberry her elixir with marshmallows she's so good and then she has a citrus note y'all she's literally good damn near better than burberry her elixir i'm not gonna lie you don't need burberry her elixir if you buy this i'm just gonna let you know right now now i'm gonna go in my drawer of perfumes that i can't put up here so this is sakina as you can see this is like Haya's sister but she stank this is like some cranberry scent but it literally smells bad i don't like it um it just stink. It smell bad. I don't like it. The next one I have is Amani. There is two of these that I have. And both of them smell like laundry detergent. I think this one is more of a cleaner laundry scent. She smells like laundry. Like if you want to smell like laundry, this is for you. But there's another one that smells like laundry as well. But she reminds me of when I had strep throat. And I've been having... I've been consistently catching strep throat for the past month. So I don't think I want to wear this. But... She smells like laundry detergent as well, but she's more sweeter. Like, she's more of a vanilla type, sweet, girly type of laundry. You know what I'm saying? Like, this one is more so, like, clean laundry. And then this one is more so, like, sweet vanilla, a little bit of strawberry in there. I really like this, but um, I wore her when I was sick. I'm low-key traumatized. I like how it's, like, a milky type liquid. I think that's so cute but yeah but yeah if you're into laundry scents like if you like laundry scents you would definitely love these two y'all like you would literally love these two i'm telling you all right y'all so i got a couple more perfumes to show y'all that's not on this little rack right here so i'm gonna show y'all all right so i got like four more so first one is forbidden sugar now this perfume right here smells very similar to oriana in a way, it's also similar to Ansem Gold, but it's like more mature, more warmer. It's like a sweet mandarin orange, marshmallowy raspberry scent. Very mandarin orangey, very warm. It's also unisex and it's very, very strong. The next one I have is Washa Washa. Now this one smells exactly like sweet pea to me. Um, If you know how sweet pea from Bath and Body Works smells, this is how this smells. It's like flowers literally it's a floral scent it's like peonies and just flowers flowers all over the place with a little hint of raspberry but mostly flowers mainly flowers all you smell is flowers now this is the thymine collection very similar to that one right here well they don't smell similar but the packaging is similar now this one smells like green tea lemon a little bit of vanilla it's very very green tea earthy type of scent now i don't really do earthy scents so i don't reach for this at all like i don't really wear this i might give it away but it's actually pretty good if you like earthy scents. i would highly recommend this like if you like earthy scents this is for earthy girls i'm not really an earthy girl but it's very earthy and then the last one y'all is the sugar plum this is the sugar plum musk from the thymine collection this right here smells like grape jelly candies it's very very sweet this is also one of those scents that i don't reach for that much because I don't really care to smell like grapes. It does not stink or anything like that. But when I wore it, I was a little bit sick. So it made me not want to wear it. Because like it was just too sweet for me. When I wear things when I'm nauseous, I no longer like the scent. But this is a good scent. I just feel like I would have to be 
in the mood to wear it. It's not bad though. But yeah, y'all, that is my Arabic perfume collection. I will be giving y'all my full blown perfume collection soon. So just stay tuned. I love y'all so much. I'm sorry I was not posting. Y'all, I recently had got my TikTok account hacked. I just got it back yesterday, but it was gone for like two two weeks and a half and I was struggling stressed out I didn't want to do nothing I was depressed and like I've been getting sick a lot lately so like back to back I've been catching strep back to back I've been catching a cold every time I go outside I've been getting sick all the time 24 7 so I haven't really been having a lot of energy and y'all already know I suffer with acid reflux disease and stuff like that so for me to be getting sick on top of that it's just a lot but I do want to be more consistent with y'all just let me know what type of videos I should post. I just hate to post and then, you know, it don't get no views. It don't get no recognition. It make me feel like I wasted my time posting the video in the first place. But yeah, y'all, that was my perfume collection, my Arabic perfume collection. I love y'all. Bye. All right, y'all. So I think this is the last Arabic perfume that I have. I have so many, but this is the Tootie Musk. I forgot to include this. This is a very tart raspberry scent. I did buy this. TikTok did not send me this, but it's very, very tart, sweet, and raspberry. I didn't think it was going to be so tarty, but it is a very tart scent. It also has a blackberry note, I think. It's very, very, very tarty and raspberry and sweet. Very, very sweet and juicy.